Hey everyone, it's Steph. So I just got done chatting with one of my really, really close girlfriends and had a really good conversation. I don't know what girl does not like a little bit of girl talk. Um, nothing is more fun than getting two chatty Cathy's together, whether it's in person or in our case on the opposite end of the phone and just catching up and sharing stories and was talking with her. Um, she was there every step of the way through my two pregnancies and I've kind of been there with her through hers. And, you know, we've, we've shared all of the conversations about that moment that you find out you're going to be a mom. You see those two strips on the pregnancy test and that excitement, um, kind of being there with each other through those 40 weeks of pregnancy. But I feel like, especially for us ladies, the one thing that a lot of us don't really talk a whole lot about is the recovery and afterwards. And so I was chatting with one of my close girlfriends this morning about, kind of that process and you know we were sharing some things and it, it's always so fascinating to hear someone else's story and especially for us mamas whether it's for the first time or second third fourth whatever and to go oh my god me too like I thought it was just me and then you know you share these stories and this is really where you learn about what really goes on so I felt compelled I was going to type something out, but I figured it's so much more fun to hear someone's voice. So I wanted to share with you in the event that you are a mama who is recovering or has been recovering from having kids and maybe needed to hear this. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about my story. Um, and this is what I shared with my girlfriend today that she didn't even know. Um, so. Emma, I will say, is the best case scenario. That was the best pregnancy in the entire world. There were no complications. There were no issues. I gained about 30 pounds. And even though she was delivered via C-section, the recovery was really, really easy. And I think, in fact, two or three days after I was released home from the hospital, me, Jeremy, Emma, <laughs> and my family, we took a road trip up to Michigan for my brother and my sister-in-law to be married. So everything was great. Um, Brody, on the other hand, was complete polar opposite. And this is really where my recovery story, I love sharing this because it's almost comical. Um, so with Brody, I gained 45 pounds with him. He was delivered three weeks early and was just a couple ounces shy of being a nine pound baby. So for someone who is five foot nothing, use your imagination on where all that went. It was all belly, all belly. Um, he was also delivered C-section and I remember even just before going into delivery, when I tell you that 45 pounds was all belly, it is the honest to God's truth. I could not interconnect my fingers in front of my stomach. Um, I was so big. And I remember even in the morning, I would do my morning ritual of putting the cocoa butter on the belly and I'd have Jeremy in the background laughing like, babe, it doesn't even look real. It looks like a map. Um, so I was huge, absolutely huge. And after delivering Brody, of course, I had a lot of extra skin, a lot of extra fluff, and it took me a solid year to get back into the swing of getting myself back in shape. And of course, those of you who are mamas, you know, it's a totally different dynamic when you go from just having one to now having two, because now you're learning how to balance your schedule and balance your life, right? So it took me about a year to get that under control. That's kind of sad. Um, but when I was ready, of course, mamas, what's the first thing we want to correct after we have a baby, right? We want to get that, that core and squishy situated in our midsection. And so I remember for at least like, God, it had to have been seven, eight, nine months. All I did was like pound out those traditional core exercises, like nothing but crunches. And I remember feeling frustrated, like, okay, like I'm, I'm, toning up, I'm doing all this stuff and I'm, I still have this mama pooch. Why do I look like I'm still pregnant? And this was around the time that I was scheduled to go back and visit my doctor, um, for just an annual checkup. And I, I remember telling her, like, I would feel so frustrated. Like I would put my hands on the side of my stomach to like feel my muscles crunch and like attempt to, I guess, try and find that six pack that was underneath of all the squishy. And there was one point that I will never forget it. I remember I was laying in a crunch and I had my fingers right on the front side of my abs and I was trying to touch and feel myself tightening up. And my fingers, my forefingers just kept squishing in between my abs into a true real life gap between my ab muscles. And I flipped out. Like this is not normal. Like four fingers in between a separation between my ab muscles. And so when I went to my doctor's appointment, I was like, like, is this normal? Is this supposed to happen after pregnancy? Did this happen with Emma? And I just don't remember. Like, what is this? 
And so she checked me out and it comes to find out this is not normal. This is actually something that happens ironically enough to a lot of us mamas after having babies. And I was diagnosed with having diastesis, recti, or DR for short. And this is the condition where your ab muscles will physically separate due to extreme stress or growth from pregnancy. And no matter how strong my core, my abs were, even after having Emma and, and kind of getting back in shape prior to babies and, and cheering and dancing, being athletic, there was nothing that was going to prepare me for the insane beating that my body took after being pregnant with Brody. And I, my, my muscles just could not keep up with that growth. And so they physically separated. And I had one of my alumni sisters that I cheered with who, you know, was talking to me and she was like, well, Steph, like if that's the case, those traditional core exercises, those crunches, they are not going to help you, girlfriend. They are going to make it worse. It's going to harden your, your muscles and it's, it's going to make it impossible for them to come back together. Oh my God. Like this is what I've been doing for nine months. And you're telling me, I just like, I made it worse. So I, I flipped out. I got extremely discouraged because of course I'm like, I want to get rid of this mama pooch. I'm not pregnant. I look like I have people asking me if I'm still pregnant. And, um, so I, I got really, really frustrated and I started doing research and learning a little bit more about the condition and come to find out you can work in reversing it. It takes a lot longer. It takes a different approach, but you can definitely do it. And one of the things that I learned is you can do this through those non-traditional core exercises where you're not just working the front of your abs, you're working your entire core. So your back, your obliques, your erector spinae muscles, the, your abdominals, obviously in the front. And these are all done through non-traditional methods, i.e. no crunches. And this was right around the time that Pio released. And I will tell you, I am not your typical yoga fanatic. Um, I've learned to love it, but for me, it was just too slow and I couldn't, I had so many other things rattling in my brain. I couldn't concentrate on breathing. And so I knew it was something that was good. I had done Pilates in college and I liked that, but I, I was so used to the high intensity. Um, I love, 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 love Shalene Johnson. She is just, she's like an energizer bunny and she is like a sister from another meester, <laughs> but I love her. So I decided to give that program a try. And this was of July, 2014, last year when it launched and it's a 60 day program. I committed to it. And you know, when I first got started, I still had that gap 30 days into the program. I remember, you know, laying in in a crunch and just trying to see how much had changed. And after 30 days, I was able, only able to put two fingers in between my ab muscles. Progress, right? Um, so that I'm very instant gratification. I want to feel like my efforts, I'm getting that return on my investment, my time and my energy. And so I kept going and I noticed my flexibility was getting better. I noticed my strength was getting a lot, lot more better just by using my own body. Not even, I never touched a weight. I didn't touch a resistance band. And so I finished the second half of the program. And even to this day, I can barely put one finger in between my ab muscles. So why am I sharing this with you? Because I know that there are so many other mamas out there, whether you are a brand spanking new mom, whether you are like me and it was kind of a year or two after you've had your baby and you're still trying to work on making these improvements with yourself, or maybe you're sitting back years after you've had, you know, a little one and you're trying to increase not just your overall core strength, but your flexibility and your, your just, your, your just general strength and, and, um, increase that lean muscle. This is definitely one program that changed my world and especially being a mama and working on that, that area that I lacked so much confidence in, of course, after having babies. And I feel compelled to share this with you. And I was talking to my girlfriend this morning about it, who's experiencing the same thing um, that I went through. And I'm like, girl, why don't you try it? Like, this is what it did for me. And here are my challenges coming into it. And it helped me. 
So if you are interested in talking more about how this program can change your life or maybe help those problem tummy areas for you, or maybe you just want to increase flexibility, or maybe you're someone that, you know, I'm not really like kind of like me, like I'm not your true yoga fanatic and, but I like Pilates, I like yoga and you want something that's a little bit more fast paced and upbeat. Um, this program is actually on sale through the end of this month. So you've got just a couple more days. So Hit me up. Let me know. I would love to chat with you. And certainly if you are a mama that is suffering from DR, I'd love to talk to you more and share more about my experiences and learn more about yours. And, you know, there's there's some sort of comfort in knowing that, you know, we've got each other's back. Mama's got to stick together. So, but thank you for listening to this. Like I said, I felt compelled after talking to my girlfriend. I knew that there were so many other mamas out there that could find some value in learning a little bit more. So make it a great day, everyone. And let me know if you have any questions. Would love to chat with you more.